Today I am answering readers' questions, and today's question is from Maria. And Maria says, Annie, what causes a hangover? So this is a great question. We're all pretty familiar with hangovers. And it's funny because there's not many other things we do in life that we accept, okay, I'm going to do this tonight, but I'm going to feel really sick tomorrow, and that's going to be okay with me. But somehow hangovers have become this thing that we're like, okay, it's just part of life. In fact, some people wear hangovers, I know I did, as like a badge of honor. Okay, so I'm at work at, you know, seven in the morning, look at me, I'm totally hungover, but I'm I'm pushing through it. Here I am at work and I felt miserable, but for some reason in my mind, I was like, this is what it means to really arrive because here I am doing what everybody else is doing and we're all hungover and we're all just pushing through it. And it's, it's just somewhat ridiculous in hindsight because I can't think of anything else that we purposely consume that we know will make us sick. Like I really can't. Um, maybe there are things and I'm just, you know, drawing a blank, but we know a hangover, it's, it's headache, it's nausea, it's dizziness, you feel sleepy, you feel sometimes confused, super thirsty, and often elevated levels of anxiety, self-loathing, beating yourself up from what happened the night before. So these are all the symptoms, they're pretty common. Generally hangovers happen the morning after a heavy night of drinking, sometimes they can go all day. Usually they, done within 24 hours, but some can last even a few days. I've definitely had a few day long hangover from some, you know, times when I drank far, far, far too much. Um, but what causes it? So there's a bunch of different things. First of all, excessive urination caused by the fact that alcohol is a diuretic. Alcohol takes blood from your very, or sorry, water from your very cells. It, it dehydrates you on a cellular level you end up going to the bathroom a lot more, and then you end up being incredibly dehydrated, and dehydration has all sorts of nasty side effects. Um, some studies show that your brain uh, matter actually shrinks when you're massively dehydrated and can definitely happen as a result of a heavy drinking bout. Um, an immune system response. So alcohol can trigger an inflammatory response from your immune system, and what this means is your immune system says, okay, what are what's happening, toxin, toxin, no hall pass, not not wanted here, intruder, intruder, and it actually starts to attack um, the alcohol. And so it, it inflames different parts of your body and your stomach lining and whatnot. And so this inflammatory response is certainly um, a cause of hangovers. Interestingly, alcohol raises your production of stomach acids. So you will feel often a stomach ache or nauseous, and it also slows how fast your stomach naturally empties itself. And I'm not exactly sure why this is. I wasn't able to find it, but because it does that, uh, nausea and vomiting are very, very frequent from hangovers because your stomach is not emptying itself fast enough and your normal digestive processes have been slowed through consumptions of alcohol. Um, one important one is alcohol really drops your blood sugar. And if you're diabetic or have some other insulin you know, related issues, this can be massively dangerous. And this is because Alcohol interferes because your liver is so busy detoxifying and metabolizing alcohol, it interferes with your liver's ability to help maintain and regulate your blood sugar. So it can cause some scary low drops in blood sugar and drops in blood sugar mean shakiness, moodiness, weakness, uh, just discontent, depression, anxiety type feelings, very nasty feelings. And then another thing that causes a hangover is alcohol dilates your blood vessels and when this happens inside your brain, it can easily lead to headaches. Um, and then your sleep quality. So your sleep quality is drastically uh, messed up with alcohol. Alcohol makes you fall asleep very heavily, very quickly. You pass out. We all know that feeling. But actually, your body doesn't get REM sleep or random eye movement. And that is a very crucial part of sleep. There was a study done um, with rats that they deprived them of REM sleep in some fashion. And they actually started dying after just a few weeks because of how important REM sleep is for the recovery of our brains and our bodies. So you lose out on your ability to have REM sleep. And then finally, the toxic byproducts of metabolizing alcohol, one of the main things that happens when your liver metabolizes alcohol in order to, to detoxify itself, it actually produces a, another toxin called acetaldehyde. And acetaldehyde is even more toxic than alcohol, if you can believe it but it's produced as a byproduct of your body getting rid of alcohol. And that acetaldehyde is a major cause of hangovers because it is so incredibly toxic in your bloodstream. So Maria, this is an excellent question. You know, what causes a hangover? A lot of really nasty stuff. Again, just to make the point that what else do we consume on purpose knowing it's going to make us sick? <laughs> I don't know what else we do that. It's a bit insane, but 
we seem to persist. And anyway, my name is Annie Grace, the author of This Naked Mind and creator of The Alcohol Experiment. So if you're looking for just a way to interrupt your patterns, it's a completely free 30-day challenge. You can find it at alcoholexperiment.com. And it's a community of more than 10,000 people um, all doing this alcohol experiment together. And it's it's a really eye-opening thing. No pressure, no judgment, no rules. Just, you know, decide to interrupt your pattern. So anyway, thank you so much. and Have a great day. Are you looking to connect with like-minded people? Sometimes maybe you feel like as someone who knows all this information from the snake in mind or the alcohol experiment that you're living in a world of muggles and people just don't speak your language. That is why I created The Exchange. The Exchange is an online community where we meet face-to-face live video calls multiple times a week with people from all over the globe just to connect, to have somewhere you are seen and you're heard and you feel less alone and really that you can give back and get the support you need. So if this sounds great to you, check it out at thisnakedmind.com backslash exchange. And as always, rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast as it truly helps the message reach somebody who might need to hear it today.